In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create digital art in the style of Julian Opie using the online tool Photopea. So as you can see on the screen in front of you, this is the quite famous album from the band called Blair, in which Julian Opie drew pictures of each, member, each of the members of the band in the unique style, where they don't really have mouths, they don't really have distinguishing features other than their hair and things like glasses. First things first, you need to go to photop.com and then what we're going to do is we're going to open from computer. So just click that and I'm going to click a picture I've already got, which is this man here. And that's going to open up that image for us nice and easily. Now, for now, we're going to keep this picture and we're just going to create a bunch of layers. Okay, so that's nice and easy. What we can do as well is put one of these layers behind. I'm gonna just click here. I'm gonna fill in white. I'm just gonna draw a big square or rectangle. Can't see it, but it means what we can do is we can turn down the opacity to make his face a little bit uh, fadier. Okay, we can then put this to the top, and as we draw, we'll be able to see our lines. Now, what we want to do next is we want to look at how the art style of this artist actually works with our pictures. So I'm just going to go to Google, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Julian Puppy, like that. If I go on to there, you can look at the style. So you can see that mainly we draw around person's face, adding some eyes, mouth, and so on. So what you want to do first is in Photopea, You want to draw around basic shapes. Now, for example, this guy's beard is going to make life really easy because we don't have to worry about the bottom of his face too much. So we're going to use the pen tool. Now, there's a couple of ways of using the pen tool. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit into his head. Maybe that's a bit too much. There we go. Now what we can do is we can be really specific with our clicks and you can see we can create a shape like that. I'm just using Control Alt Z to undo. Or we can use less work and we can curve our lines to have a smoother edge and make it a little bit more accurate to his head. Now, at this point, it doesn't really matter because we're not going to see any of this. So we can just, his head's about there. Then I'm just gonna curve it a little bit like that, okay? Now, put the opacity down so we can see how close I am. To be fair, not too bad, maybe I could have been a bit closer there. That's his face. Now it's a black and white image, but you know, we can always add it to the skin color. So I can just fill that in with, um, so a, a skinnish kind of colour if I can get one that's decent. I'm, I'm not the best with colours, but that'll do. Okay, so that's filled in now. We'll say that's the colour of his face. Maybe it's a bit too pink, but we can always change that. Now I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to put it to the bottom, ignore it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the pen tool. And I'm going to start again. If you just click away, you can just quickly prepare yourself for the next part. So let's say now I'm going to do his beard. So I'm not going to worry about his hair for now. I'm just going to do his beard on its own. So I'm just going to maybe that's slightly too high there. So that I can just go. Let's make it a bit more curved. There we go. Um, I'll probably do his moustache separately. So I can do that, that. I mean, picking someone with a beard does make it a little bit more difficult, being completely honest with you. But that, and then I'm just going to say that he's got a black beard. There we go. 
Done. Again, leave it there, next layer. And I want, I want, you want to create every single element of the picture in its own layer. Then you do the mouth next. So let's uh, I'm going to do, you've only really got his bottom lip, so I'm just going to do his lip. Now, in the style of Julian Opie, wouldn't necessarily, if I go back to the picture, you don't have teeth necessarily for this one. You can do like this one here, so we can do that, but it's just, it's just essentially it's a rectangle. So it's much easier to do a picture without a mouth like that. But we'll try our best, we'll try to do it like this one. So what we need to do now is, oop, don't want to do that. We need to make his lips look similar to that, so relatively thin. Go got his lips. I'll just do them red for now. Now it's a little bit awkward because his mouth's gonna be a bit of a pain because his teeth are just is just essentially gonna be again with a pen tool in white. Oop. Don't wanna do that though. Let's put that back. Click off it. There we go, back to normal again. He's gonna essentially just be Like that nice little square and then probably need to be slightly below the lips like that and that would go over and then the last thing is going to be if we just get rid of that so I don't see it we're going to, have to do his mustache which is probably going to be hard I mean this isn't going to be a fantastic picture if I'm being completely honest with you I'm a terrible artist Okay, and that's gonna be black as well. Now, if I just hide him and look at all our elements now, we'd maybe do the the, the mustache a slightly different colour just to make it a little bit more obvious. Might need to do a bit of arranging to fit it on because at the moment, if I just Select that and I you can't really tell. So, what I'd probably do is just make his mustache maybe a slightly different black. Maybe grey is too much, but I can just just so it's a slightly off cut so we can tell it's there. And then I would probably just move his teeth and lips. Oop. Make sure I'm selecting them there. Just move them slightly higher. And the lips start to be right, we can change that as well. So that's that done. Put him back. Now we need to start creating the features of the face. So you see the nose is just two little dots, the eyebrows are the same, and the eyes are the same. So the eyes essentially could just be a circle. So we could just get. Oh, make sure we click on the. Uh, Right layer, not moving the wrong things though. So layer three, get the ellipse and we'll make it black and like that. Duplicate it. Put that there. For the nose, you're probably gonna just pen tool that again. Could duplicate it. I'm probably going to do it to save time. And then what we can do is just put that in the right place. Now you're probably going to have to um, flip this image so it's the opposite way around. We just want to, there we go, transform and then flip horizontally, move it slightly. And then the next thing is going to be to create his eyebrows. Maybe a 
butchered his eyebrows a little bit there. Again, I'm just going to duplicate that again. So, edit, I'm going to duplicate it first. So, duplicate layer, image, transform, flip horizontally. And then, we can edit, free transform. So, it's got the scale tool where I can maybe make it a little bit smaller to fit. And then we're going to have to rotate this, okay? So, image, transform, rotate. Then, get that to fit. Looks about right. And then if I just get rid of that again, you can see it's not fantastic, but we're getting there. It's looking like a Julian Opie. You know, a few different changes, like I need to put his lips a bit more, probably make them a colour that's not so silly. Do you know what's a good lip colour? Don't know. I'll have to think about that, what's a good colour. Um, and so on. And we can slowly build the picture up, so the next thing I do is ears, then it's hair, and so on, until I've got a completed picture. Now if you want to change any elements, because we use the pen tool, we can say I want to change his skin colour, let's say. If you go back onto the pen tool, you can then change these things. So I guess let's say I want to make him, I don't know, slightly pinker, like that. I can do that, change the colour. Now, another thing if you notice as well on these Julian Opie pictures, is that there is like a thick black line around. Now what we can do is we can add the stroke, choose a colour, you can see a little black line. Now, we can then increase the stroke to make that line thicker. Now, if I just make the opacity full, you can see that we've sort of got the right level there. Then once we've done that, even for the eyebrows, we could have just done a line. The only thing I'd say is for his, his hair, if I bring him back up, we just do like a faded line there, ears on there, but essentially, we're there, we just need to do some finishing touches. So I hope that's it. Hopefully you can find that nice and easy, and you'll be fine.